Hi, I'm Giovanna Cristina Varese from the University of Torino in Italy, and I will talk to you about the fungal microbiome of seagrasses and their biotechnological applications. I will briefly introduce marine fungi with a focus on fungi colonizing seaweeds, and then I will present why these fungi are important for the production of bioactive molecules and enzymes useful in different biotech sectors. But what does it mean, marine fungi? For many years, marine fungi have been classified as obligate or facultative, where obligate were fungi growing and sporulating exclusively in marine or estuarine habitats, and facultative were terrestrial species actively growing and reproducing also in marine environments. Recently, a new broader definition has been introduced and defined marine fungi as the one that repeatedly are recovered from marine habitats because able to grow and or sporulate on substrata in marine environment, to form symbiotic relationship with other marine organisms, or to adapt and evolve at the genetic level or be metabolically active also in marine environments. Many years of marine mycology have clearly demonstrated that marine fungi are distinct from their terrestrial and freshwater counterparts, both in their taxonomy, morphology and physiology. Fungi in the sea face substantial challenges compared to the terrestrial counterpart. The figure shows some of these challenges as high salinity, exposure to UV lights, low temperature, limited access to substrate for growth and extreme pressures. But the same uh, figures show also the molecular adaptation and the morphological adaptation that uh, fungi uh, use to uh, survive in the marine environments. Fungi are key players in terrestrial and marine environments, representing a substantial proportion of the microbial diversity on Earth. Marine fungi have been recovered from any organic or inorganic substratum in marine environments, including deep sea and benthic sediment, hydrothermal vents, oxygen deficient environment, and in the global surface water. They have also been isolated from different xenobiotic substrata as plastic. So far we know that marine fungi are associated with the whole marine organic components as saprobes, endophytes, parasites, pathogens, mutualists and contribute to substantial amounts of organic carbon at various levels of energy transfer in the marine ecosystem. In fact, fungi are one of the major components in marine food webs and play a key role in regulating this energy flow. Seaweeds form a diverse and ubiquitous group of photosynthetic organisms that play an essential role in aquatic ecosystems. They are not only one of the most important contributors uh, to global primary production, but are also important uh, as major habitat formers on rocky shores, providing food and shelter for aquatic life. Seaweeds host a, a wide variety of fungi that can behave as saprobes, parasites, endophytes or symbionts. And uh, right now, algicolus fungi have been identified as an untapped source of uh, useful secondary metabolites. Fungi are key components of the microbiome of seaweed. Indeed, like other eukaryotic organisms, 
macroalgae, arbor a rich diversity of associated microorganisms with functions related to host health and defense. In particular, bacteria, and more recently fungi, have been recognized as essential for normal morphological and physiological development, acting as a unified functional unit or holobionts. Each alga is able to select its specific microbiota from the surrounding environment. According to several studies, the algal-fungal interaction could be classified either as nutrient exchange, signal transduction, or gene transfer. Fungi, indeed, are in, involved in the production of bioactive compounds which protect the algae from harmful entity present in the pelagic realm. They could be useful providing uh, uh, molecules are like vitamins or UV protector. They work on morphology, development uh, and growth of seaweeds, also consuming organic matter and nitrogen source. They are involved in the defense uh, of the algae and uh, also in antifouling activity. There are several driving forces that determine the recruitment of fungi over and inside the algal tissue. Environmental factors uh, dictate the functional requirements of an ecosystem and therefore are key drivers in microbial composition. Additionally, the evolutionary history of the host influences associated microbial composition as biogeography and morphological niches of the host. All these factors are involved in shaping fungal communities, often acting in combination. Hence, specific fungal composition emerge, forming functionally stable interaction with their respective host, based on metabolic capability rather than on taxonomic composition. According to the literature, there are fungi that uh, display different affinity for algal host. Indeed, some fungi have been recovered from different host in many different geographical areas, whereas other fungi seem to be very specialist. Moreover, often fungi display a discrete specificity within the macroalgal talus, and uh, finally, we are thought that there are functional differences between uh, epibionts and uh, endobionts. According to the literature, in fact, uh, endobionts and epibionts are considered distinct from one another and are hypothesized to contribute independently to specific functions uh, that uh, are useful for maintaining the functionality of the host. However, recently, Turna Bush and collaborated uh, demonstrated uh, that the fungal community and the bacterial community of Saccharina latissima uh, were really similar as regards endobionts and epibionts. Seaweeds fungi constitute an enormous and untapped source of biodiversity that can be considered as a wellspring of uh, effective novel natural products for medical, agricultural and industrial use. In the figure you can see the distribution ratio of already known or new metabolites obtained by seaweeds fungi. It is worth mentioning that many bioactive compounds previously attributed to macroalgae are indeed produced or metabolized by their associated microorganisms. In particular, epi and endophytic fungi from marine macroalgae have been identified as a potential source of bioactive molecules and enzymes. The figure highlights the distribution of new compounds 
from the fungi associated to different group of algae and the maximum proportion of bioactive compounds are produced from fungi isolated from brown and green algae. Moreover, this figure shows how in algicolous fungi, endophytic fungi are the main producer of new metabolites within their respective category. Bioactive compounds from algicolous fungi have many applications in pharmaceutical sector as antimicrobial, antiviral, anti-cancer, antioxidant, anticoagulant, anti-inflammatory and hypocholesterolemic compounds. Moreover, many fungal secondary metabolites are currently used as an eco-friendly approach in agriculture as biofertilizer and biostimulants thanks to the production of phytohormones and siderophores, and they also produce natural insecticides and herbicides. Finally, fungal biosurfactants are now also entering in the food and cosmetic sectors. As regards enzymes, marine fungi are able to produce enzymes with novel physiological features such as high salt tolerance, thermostability, barophilicity and cold activity respect to terrestrial counterparts. They are very interesting for industrial application. For example, one of the main advantages of cold active microbial enzyme is the decrease energy expenditure and processing cost associated with industrial eating steps. For example, several salt tolerant fungal enzymes have already been used in bioremediation. The figure shows how marine fungi and especially seaweed fungi are an untapped source of enzyme with different potentialities that are earning significance in different industrial sectors because of their high production capability with minimal cost and their stability in a wide range of operative conditions. More specifically, algal biomasses are a source for many valuable compounds for the pharmaceutical and chemical industry. Especially marine polysaccharide contain rare sugars of interest, but a major bottleneck is access to these sugars. Seaweeds filamentous fungi degrade these algal materials efficiently, allowing versatile application of monomers and oligomers. Besides, the algal polysaccharides utilization greatly expand the possibility to use algal waste for recycling in bioraffinery processes to high value materials with even beneficial effect for the environment. In this table are listed some of the main algal polysaccharides. The polysaccharide and polyphenol degrading enzyme, usually called cadzyme, in marine fungi are usually more diversified and effective than their terrestrial counterparts. This explains the great contribution of marine fungi to the biotransformation processes of algae and plant material in the oceans and highlight their great potential in marine circular economy. In conclusion, most of the commercial enzymes used for the extraction of molecules from marine materials are enzymes obtained from terrestrial microorganisms and with limited substrate specificity, especially towards uh, seaweeds biomasses. The efficiency of the extraction could be increased by using more specific enzymes according to the targeted matrix, and algicolous fungi are particularly promising for the production of this enzyme. Moreover, the capability of metabolic utilization of macroalgae polysaccharides allows for an increase in the production of fungal biomass enriched by mycelium protein, vitamins, antioxidant compound, etc., that can be used in animal and fish feeding or in agriculture. Thank you for the attention.